Hey there, what's going on? It's Faith from Vela and Tarot. Today's reading is for you Capricorn friends. You came out first. By the time you see this, um, I'm sure we'll go in order, but you are getting the first uh, early afternoon reading here. So I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to roll some dice for your angel messages to set this uh, reading straight, right? Get the energy in for you. So we have 262. So please look up those uh, numbers, see what they mean for you. I'm going to pluck out from my book. Hope you're doing well, Capricorn friends, Earth, Earth energies. May you have a blessed rest of your season and into the year. May your life be clear. May you be blessed with health, wealth, prosperity, abundance, love, and peace. Healing as well. So blessing that for you right now, Capricorn friends. All right, so that's for you. So 262, this is for you. Angel 262. You are being invited to be honest with yourself and in your relationships. 262, you are being invited to be honest with yourself and in your relationships. All right, so that's what you're getting. And it's also reversible, 262. You get the same numbers, so all about being honest with you and also asking for honesty from your partner. Whoever you, you're coming in contact with, you know, um, asking for them to be honest and genuine with themselves so that you guys can be on the same page, same goals, you know, to honesty, open, open communication. All right, so this is for you, Capricorn. Capricorn. So we're going to get into our little spread here. We have current energy, good news, what to improve, career and money, spiritual journey, your love life. All right, let's get into this. So if you are uh, ear sensitive, please mute the video right now. I'm going to do some shuffling the uh, charms. If you are looking for pick a cards, I do them over on my Be Love and Tarot channel. All pick a card related. Sometimes I go an hour long, so I'll have that link down below so you can so you can check it out okay let's get into this capricorn don't want to all right friends let's do this so I, I was um, called to move them around a little bit for a second and you did get hair in here I uh, some of them fell on the floor on my rug so I grabbed it put it back in my pouch and of course a little bit of hair went in there so something about uh, longevity, longevity, hair, roots, connecting to, staying connected to your, to your roots, like going back to basics, going back to your roots, learning about your culture, learning about your DNA, learning about your family tree. That's what I'm getting with hair. Moving on. So you have current energy, uh, the current energy, you have quite a few things taking place here. Um, you could feel scattered also. Okay, so the current energy, you have the dime here. You could be working on your finances, your career, getting your money in check here. You have the safety pin, keeping things tight-lipped. It's closed. So you're keeping things close to your chest, four of pentacles. You could be receiving answers, receiving clarity. Also pay attention to songs. I'm hearing sirens, so a lot of uh, noisy energy coming in for you. If this current energy right now, noisy sounds. So I'm not sure if you're going to be receiving a phone call, if you're um, listening to the, the warning signs, if your synchronicities are coming into play, seeing angel numbers, songs trying to talk to you. Um, listen to songs at this time. Listen to music. Whatever catches your attention and you start singing along. Pay attention to the words. 
also somebody might, might be contacting you via text, email, phone, letter, etc. You have uh, a big fat coin touching the current energy, your good news, your career and money, and uh, I guess that's it. It's not really touching the spiritual journey um, square here. So this money, whatever you're doing for yourself, it's going to bring in goodness, good prosperity vibes here. That's the current energy you're in. You're working on your money, working on your uh, grounding yourself, working on your stability, working on you, your body, earth, energy the tangible so keep on going that's also going to bring in some good energy like I said it's in the good news category it's touching that square and it's also let's see if I move the skeleton okay it's not quite touching the career and money but it's almost there it's almost touching so it's like almost on the square here for career and money so your spirits saying keep on going keep on going you're gonna see more uh, of your finances improving so keep on chucking through, <laughs> hiking through, keep it, keep it up. All right, so you got in the good news, you have this fish. The fish also means, uh, in Lenormand's, it means career. I mean, I'm sorry, business, finances, busy bee energy. So I'm getting that with, uh, yeah, fish, all this stuff right here happening with you, with your money. So I can see things improving. You have this little purple stone, which I'm getting amethyst energy, and this is like tranquility. Uh, yeah, look, more amethyst. Like you feeling very peaceful at this time, or you're going to, you're going to, you're going into some kind of harmonious um, phase of your life where things are feeling balanced and at peace. Yeah, I feel that too. I feel that energy. Um, you have this earring, which is also. Uh, placed on the good news and the spiritual journey squares so you could be listening to someone's truth very soon like i said La -la -la. yeah i hear someone talking to you talking your ear off they have a lot to tell you so this could be from from someone from your past or someone who wants to just get things off their chest someone who has some secrets or they just have things they want to square away crossing the you know like kind of like turning the leaves over unfinished uh words or unsaid words uh, fun, unfinished business so earring, uh, also you need to hear people out or you need to be heard. You got the voice and the hearing, listening uh, and talking. So however that resonates for you. You also have the skeleton ring in, in both uh, positions, good news and spiritual journey. So, so I'm going to put the earring here since we already talked about it. I have to talk about it again in this square. Um... The quarter also is touching both. So yeah, talking. About, yeah, there's a lot of money here coming to play to play in place. Uh, the skeleton also for your current and energy. You got two. Some kind of change is happening for you when it comes to your money and when it comes to you receiving answers or news or some kind of communication from someone important. And so since that's touching the career and money, I'm going to put it right there. So this is also touching the spiritual journey, if I'm remembering correctly. So there's some kind of transformation happening very soon for you, Capricorn. So you can expect some kind of like new energy, like a rebirth of something. When it comes to like something very prosperous, I see all this money. Okay, you have the cross, so you you could be you know tapping more into your faith or your spirituality if you're not religious. So that's something good. You're feeling closer to spirit, spirit closer to the divine. Clo oh, again the cross closer to yourself, closer to, um, you know, God, goddesses, whoever you believe in, the universe. Um, so you're closer to your intuition. I see that as well. The pillars, you still got one, two pillars, like the high priestess. Okay, so what can you improve? Um, yeah, you, you could still be improving your spiritual journey here, like just working on yourself, working on your spirituality, doing your, uh, your, your, your prayers, if you do them religiously or shuffling your your, your cards, reading your crystals, doing your healing, you could also yeah be on your healing journey um, when it comes to your your spirit spirituality. Or, you know, working on your your spirit on yourself as above, so below. You have this again more earring energy. 
So you can li you can improve on listening more than you speak, or speaking more than you listen. Find that balance. For you, Capricorn, your career and money, there's a change. Like I said, there's some kind of shift here, so you can expect a rebirth in your finances, like some kind of fresh air hovering, something being illuminated in your finances, in your piggy bank, your bank account, your your um your PayPal, your Cash App, your Super Chat, your <laughs> Your uh, Venmo, everything, your, your Zelle, you, whatever it is that you're using to buy stuff with or receive money with, it is getting a fresh new air. It's getting feng shui Okay, you have this cute earring. Again, you're some more, what the freak? Wait, you have three earrings. So a lot of hearing and needing to be heard as well coming through. When it comes to your career and money, so... You could, well, I don't know if you're speaking out loud, you're manifesting money out loud, it's coming through. If you're saying spells, or if you're just talking about, yeah, I'm making more money now. If, I don't know if you're saying pow powerful affirmations when it comes to your finances, to, to money. I, spirit is listening, universe is listening. So watch your words when it comes to anything positive or anything negative. All right, so spiritual journey. Okay, so you also wait. Hold on. So that's what you need to improve: hearing, listening, uh, you, you know, spirituality. Here, just keep on doing your thing. Keep on praying. Keep on meditating. Whatever you're doing, it's it's working. You also have this looming bands here. This uh, rubber bands, you know, thing here. So you're asking, or oh, spirit could be asking you to be flexible with your money. Uh, make it stretch some more. Um. Well, however that resonates for you. Stretch. In other words, um, if you know you're, if you're living paycheck to paycheck, <clears throat> and you know that, okay, you can expect a thousand every two weeks, let's just say. So make it stretch so that you're not waiting for another thousand. You're, you're, um, and you are the Capricorn here, so that makes sense, all this money energy coming through. Um... Yes, we know that you're expecting money, but don't just live paycheck to paycheck at this time. <clears throat> uh, make your money stretch, and I think that that's also gonna, going to improve uh, your money and how it's going to look in the future by making it stretch some more. And um, I don't think you're going to live paycheck to paycheck forever, but right now you're at being asked to stretch your money, pinch your money. It could be because maybe there's a transition, maybe you're changing jobs and you're going to need like at least a few buffers of paychecks or something in your bank account to help you balance and transition into your other job, which can take, who knows, two to three to four weeks until your money kicks in or until your benefits roll in, etc., etc. <clears throat> so you have this uh, little peg here which holds the pieces. Um, the mover, the, the piece, mover pieces in games. So something is being held for you in place. Something is in pause as well. And I see that it's taking place in both of these squares, career and spiritual journey. So th something is in limbo. Yeah, your money could, you know, it's improving, but it could also be, there's some parts of it that's, you know, it's like you're waiting for more to come in. And maybe that's why you're being asked to pinch your pennies and hold it to your chest, you know, four of pentacles, hold it close to your chest so that when you experience a change, a dramatic change, you'll have cushion, you'll have a buffer to fall back on, to help you ride your bike on, bike with, like your training wheels. <laughs> All right, so there's something in place, something is being held for you. So are you making space for new money? Are you making space for, for beautiful things to come in? Are you making space for a new job? Do you have your resume ready? Like something's being held for you. Spirit's holding something for you with your name on it. Something Spirit has something ready for you. Uh, it's just a matter of the time when it's your turn to make a move, right? That's what this is. You have to wait your turn, roll the dice, and then make your, your move accordingly. You have four. So again, I'm getting four of pentacles. Four, you have dimes. Four of dimes. So... Your spiritual journey, um, when it comes to the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Dimes, uh, or just Four in general, this can be stability, because you Four, you have two wands here, two wands here, two pillars here, two pillars here, two plus two is four, so you could be becoming 
you could be achieving more stability here. Dimes, I'm getting ten of pentacles, four of pentacles. And you, you know, working in silence and, and keeping your keeping your job or keeping your duties to yourself, not talking about it so much. Yeah, listen, see the ear? So you could be doing something behind the scenes that's going to be bringing you more money. So Spirit's saying don't talk about it. Just do it. Just work in silence. Be humble. Hold it close to your chest. Hold your secrets close to your chest. Hold your stability. Keep on. Keep your stability stable. <laughs> keep your keep your 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 structure stable and silent. Don't talk too much about it with friends and family. Uh, yeah, changes here in your spiritual journey. You can be going through an awakening. You have this hands here, so you can be putting more energy into your uh, yeah efforts, your job, your money, your your journey. You know, like. Doing more praying, more meditating, um, yeah, more hearing here, more listening, okay? So your spiritual journey, listen to your synchronicities, pay attention to synchronicities. You know, if you're hearing, if you're seeing words, look up what those words mean, you know, the angelic meanings for the words. Spirit's asking you to really pay attention to what's being given to you, what's um, being uh, shown to you, so that you can pay attention and then look them up and follow through. Your love life, you have this collide card, I mean, sorry, this pick, and it says collide. This can be you, you know, you and someone coming together, collide, a collision, a gentle collision, a peaceful collision, love life. I'm actually going to um, clarify this. So you have this, yeah, this this pick. So it's like you're making music. I see la la la. So I think this this is gonna lead you to your love life. Like you're waiting for some news from someone from your love life, someone who you've had a relationship with, or you will. You're you're waiting for that to come through, and you gotta listen, listen. Your phone might ring, but you might not hear it. Your text messages might go off, but you not, might not see them. You might not hear notification. It might go to your sent fo your other folder. Um, your your freaking dog might swipe right on it or or delete it or something so watch out for communication come through also um making music again so some kind of music coming through i'm gonna use my music cards i want to see what my music card says for this um this music portion capricorn current energy you have that that la 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 song or um cute little uh patch and then you have the guitar pick so let me see what this means, and then, okay, why is, this is my jukebox love messages oracle, it is for sale on TikTok, Etsy, and eBay, links are below. Why is this, um, this, like, third throat chakra patch here, music, 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 why, why? The power of your love, you're breathless, okay, so... There's something coming in when it comes to your love life that's gonna be it's gonna knock you off your feet. You're gonna be le left breathless. You're gonna feel like you're dumbfounded, like a deer in headlights. Deer in headlights. Like what just happened? Somebody, somebody just smacked me upside my head with their loving words. I feel like you're gonna receive some, receive some kind of loving communication, some kind of communication regarding love and open heart. Yeah, breathless. You can't speak. Don't speak. I know what you're saying. Um, yeah, you're going to receive some kind of contact or communication, reconciliation or something. And it's going to take you, it's going to take you back. You're going to not, you're going to be shocked. You're not going to see it coming. Okay. Why is this guitar pick here for your love life? Why is this guitar pick here for your love life, Capricorn? Okay. So you got sensual healing relief. So yeah, it's like, someone who wants to shuffle you know they, it's been a while since they've shuffled it's been a while since they've written music yeah listening har harmonizing making music it's been a while since they put guitar to to pick pick to the guitar pen to paper it's been a while i don't know if this person's been longing for you uh, waiting for you um i don't know if you guys if you've been single for a while capricorn or if you're waiting for someone your ex to come through or someone you, you've been crushing on to come through you're finally getting that answer sensual healing you got relief here so it's like you're gonna be able to finally collide 
collide, come together, and play your guitar, harmonize together, harmony. So something coming into balance for you, harmonizing. All right. So let me um, pull, give you some advice. This is so beautiful. So if you keep working on yourself, you're going to improve your money. You're going to improve uh, on your spiritual journey. You're going to improve your love life. But it starts with you working on your inner self. Okay. Powerful. There you go. There you go. Powerful. Try to stop me. That's the, the guitar pick. Try to stop me from making music. I dare you. Try to stop me from loving you. Try to stop me from wanting to get back together with you. Try to stop me from telling you how I truly feel. Try and stop me. So this is, there's a lot of magic here, Capricorn. You even got the boss energy. So if someone taking action, someone taking lead. Breathless, the power of your love. Powerful. Try to stop me. So um, this is someone who's very adamant. Someone is coming into your life. They're adamant to get your attention and to make music with you, make magic, make love. And yeah, that's pretty much what this is saying. You can say, you know, thank you. <clears throat> thank you, but no thank you. You don't have to receive or claim or accept this offer. But someone is coming in, and I feel like it's because of all the hard work you're putting into yourself. Whatever you're pouring into your, your spiritual journey, whatever you're doing to master yourself, you are doing amazing, amazing things for yourself, and that's why you're getting all this abundance and money and love and... Uh, you know, spirits blessings, like receiving messages from a spirit as well. You got all these spiritual, you know, religious cards or um, charms. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, is there any advice for your journey ahead? This is my feelings in bloom oracle. Links are below to where you can find this one. Okay, any advice for your journey ahead? I didn't need it anyway. So you. You have the privilege, you have the advantage, no, you have the choice to say, no, I decline, uh, you know, what new things are co coming about. I decline this new love offer, I decline working so hard I can't sleep anymore. You know, if you have balance, you'll be able to work and work and work and not have it phase you. Because you'll find balance, you'll sleep, you'll ground yourself and then rinse repeat the next day. So you can, you have your free will. Take take this advice if you want to. Disappointed, there might be some disappointings too. You might expect something, but then you get something else, courtesy of you, the universe or spirit, angels, guardians, ancestors. But at the end of this day, at the end of the day, it's for you. And you're gonna realize if something doesn't pan out, it wasn't for you. Whatever does come about, it is for you. Whatever doesn't, it isn't for you. You are able to. You know, say no thank you to whatever comes your way, whether it's a love offer or someone asking you to work two jobs or you need to, um, I don't know, if someone's trying to convert you into their religion, you could say no thank you. Because there's a lot of religious energies here. I, I do see it. Um, all this happening, the spiritual journey card, and then you have these uh, cross crucifixes here. All right, so that's pretty much your energy. Don't forget to... Um, yeah, center yourself, ground yourself, listen to your, your, your inner compass, your, your higher, higher self's calling, your intuition, because you do have all these earrings. So listening to yourself, paying attention to red flags and such. So you have a lovely day. Thank you for watching. If you want any of these decks, there are links below. If you want a personal reading using charms, let me know that too. I can do that for you in my, um, my Etsy. I have personal readings there. I'll see you next time and be. Bye-bye.